I am at Toronto Spring Camping in RV show running all weekend long at the International Centre of Mississauga. This is a huge show. It's Canada's largest showroom and they have more than RVs. They have outdoor uh, activities. I'm joined with Mark. He is the fun officer at Venture Outfitters. Mark, tell me about these amazing toys behind you. Well, you know what? Uh, we've just got everything for people who are going RVing. So a lot of times people think, yeah, I'm going RVing, I'm going camping, but you know what? I want to bring stuff. I don't actually have a whole lot of room or what would be fun? So we've got, you know, we've got inflatable travel kayaks. They only take 10 minutes to inflate. We've got the mega sup, which is like the party sup, which is great for family and friends to go out on. Um, during COVID-19, you can social distance six <laughs> yes, people so even. Um, we've got paddle boards, inflatable yeah. rigids. We've got our great folding bikes. We just have a myriad of activities. So anytime you're looking for anything outdoors to go camping with your RV, mm -hmm. definitely think of VentureOutfitters.ca and we'll be happy to help people out. That's yeah. awesome. That big guy behind you, that can fit <laughs> like, I think, 30 people <laughs> if you were to put on there. Do you know how many people that fits? Yeah, well, so it all depends on the size. It's like 1,600 pounds. It's basically eight adults or it's basically a million kids. You know wow. what I mean? Whatever comes first. And wow. you know what? People just have so much fun going out on it as a group and then going mega supping and then or also use it as a floating raft or dock. So it kind of does double double duty, I guess. Yeah. So you can come get your RV. You can also get your toys. But more importantly, you can possibly win this amazing bike. Mark, you're giving this away. We are. Yeah, in conjunction with the show, it's actually uh, it's one of the prize giveaways here at the show, um, and the big one, which is awesome. So we're giving away the Par Montague Paratrooper bike, and it's a full-on mountain bike. But what makes it really cool is it's real bikes that fold. So that actually folds down, and so people can just shove it in the little cab of their RV, in the trunk, in the back seat, um, underneath the, wherever they need room, and That's then boom. Awesome. And then in basically 15 seconds, bang, yeah. they're on the road having fun mountain biking. Right? That's amazing. You could win it possibly this weekend if... I don't take it home first. <laughs> All right, thanks, Jordan. Uh, we're going to be checking in with Jordan throughout the program today, but let's get you your forecast details as we get towards the weekend. Two degrees in Toronto this afternoon, feeling like minus two, so we're right around the seasonal mark, but we are going to be seeing the sunshine today. That is the excellent news right across the region as well. Not everyone going to be getting that warm. Minus one in Barrie, minus two in Orangeville, below the freezing mark in Kitchener as well, but sunshine will be out, and that always just makes us feel a little bit better uh, as we uh, get into the first week of March. Tomorrow, similar temperatures, actually a little bit warmer for some areas. Those areas uh, a little bit further from the lake, they will be joining the party above the seasonal mark. Two degrees remaining in Toronto and take a look at Niagara Falls. Eight degrees in Niagara on Saturday. That's going to pale in comparison to what we see Sunday temperature wise, but we are going to be dealing with this system that is going to be bringing some precipitation. So messier further to the north for the GTA and southern Ontario. We are looking at rainfall earlier in the morning Sunday. So more rainfall around the lunch hour and then a little bit of a clearer afternoon. In general, not a ton of rain either. Just about two to five millimeters across the GTA. Certainly more than that as you move a little bit uh, further to the east and north. Gusty wind conditions as well. So while it will be mild, it is going to be blustery as well. Sunday, we're looking at 60 to 80 kilometer an hour wind gusts. Uh, and our temperatures rising for a short period of time into the double digits, but then very quickly falling back to seasonal.